たねー We have a new dripper. So this is the Hero Variable Speed Dripper. So this I think is following the footsteps of the switch, the Pulsar switch. Um, what else is what else is there? Um, the S Works S Works uh, dripper. So this. With those examples, you know already that this is immersion slash percolation type dripper from Hero. So when you open the box, um, you just get the dripper, which is wrapped in a nice plastic. And that's it. There is a certification card here, like that. Right? But, right, um, let's take it out from the plastic. It's a very, it's a very simple um, dripper with a delay schematic. It's a flat bottom immersion dripper. Right, if you can see here, like in the middle there, there are six different holes, right? And then this part, can you see my finger? This see-through part right here and here. That is where you open your um, holes. Right. So you just twist this upper part like so. And you have two different levels. So there is an indicator here, there is the hero logo, and then one dot, and then two dots. So you put your you put your flat bottom paper filter here, and then you can do an immersion at first. It depends, it depends on your style, it depends on the recipe. But you can do an immersion or you can um, bring down the you can bring down the coffee slowly by using half or even by using one hole. So when you open it with one hole, you actually get three. Right? But the power of that hole is you can actually open just half or maybe just a couple. Maybe, maybe a couple of millimeters and let the coffee seep through that little opening. I'm actually excited to try it because there is a rubber under which makes it, which makes the stopping mechanism very effective. And it's a flat bottom. So imagine, imagine you have a flat bottom dripper that can do things like a switch. Even better actually because it's like a, it's like a very cheap version of the S-Works. Yeah, just without all those attachments. But yeah. And then when you and then you can actually open it all the way with two holes. Right? Like that. Okay. Um I want to try I want to try fitting like a flat bottom like a wave wave filter here. So I have here a Kalita 185, which is a bit deformed. So I'm going to use the pumpkin tool. And I'm going to try to fit the paper slowly so that we can maintain the shape. Wow, it fits perfectly. It has a very nice, very nice fit. Yeah, so can you imagine? Remember my video about the Aurea switch where I attached the Aurea V4 on the base of the switch? Yeah, so this is actually even better. Imagine you have a flat bottom profile, but you have the power of immersion. 
I'm gonna brew with this um, dripper soon. We'll make a video of that. And I'm gonna tell you the differences if we do an immersion, if we don't do an immersion. Yeah, but this dripper is very exciting. If you have something in mind, if you want to try something with this dripper, if you want me to try it for you, just let me know in the comments. Um, put it down below if you have a suggested recipe or if you have this at home and you know how to use it and how to maximize it already, please let me know. Put it in the comments below. For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!